In more local news, extra patrols will be on local streets looking for drunk drivers. City, county and state patrols will all be making extra DUI crackdowns. The effort will begin this weekend and will continue throughout the 4th of July. We do have some good news for you this morning. Columbia Basin College is getting a lot of money to actually save some money. The school is getting more than one and a half million dollars from an energy grant. The goal is to create jobs and reduce energy costs. CBC will get energy saving equipment like new lights and water saving toilets. Statewide, the grant is expected to create more than a thousand jobs and will lower energy costs by almost $150,000. Coming up later on this morning, Jay is trying to beat the heat with a bandana that's supposed to keep you cool for two hours. Sounds too good to be true, but he'll show you if it will work or not, and he'll test it out on his dog too, coming up on Action News, so that sounds exciting. And in the meantime, let's check in with him. He's at the Weather Center. Jay, Nestle loved that bandana. I'm not gonna give it away, but but she really liked it. You know, she's a she's a happy dog. <laughs> Jay, I didn't know that you cussed at all. You never swear, so uh, that was a surprise right there. Way to blank it out. Y yeah. A little frustrated, Lindsay, and the car, <laughs> the truck's still not working. Oh, the, the truck is a forget it. <laughs> <laughs> we hope not. Umatilla Chemical Depot is cutting jobs once again, but this time it's the largest cut by the facility ever. A total of 200 pink slips will be handed out tomorrow. The plant's control room is closing. Some workers will be transferred to other jobs and another 100 people will lose their jobs in late summer or early fall. Yakima police have now made about a half dozen arrests in connection to cases of robbery, assault and kidnapping. The prime suspect is a 17-year-old who faces some very serious charges.